Okay, so let's talk a little bit now about how to embed your Google Maps Street View Tour into your website and how to share the link and how to share it uh, on social media. These are important things that you need to know how to do. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and go back to Google Maps and you can do that just by opening up a browser and then in the top address bar, type in uh, maps.google.com. And then again, in the top search box in the top left, you wanna go ahead and start to type in the name of your business. Um, this particular time, I'm gonna use a, a company uh, that we did in Salem, Massachusetts. They were called a a Services. They were super nice people. Um, and they had like a, a, a window installation, home repair uh, service type business in Salem, Massachusetts. They were very nice. Uh, but here we're looking at their listing and you can see it's the same, you know, all listings are pretty much the same. You got the map marker there and you got the knowledge card on the left hand side. Nice picture of the owners there with all their business information and you, you scroll down and uh, then you find the photos film strip uh, here and you go ahead and just scroll until you see the street view and 360 images and so now we're taken into the gallery of the 360 images that we did for them um, and this was a fun job in particular we staged the employees around and kind of made them look like they were uh, getting things done and things were happening there um, so it was kind of a fun job. Those are always fun jobs to do because you, you get to take that opportunity to tell a story. Um, but so let's say that I want to show my truck fleet. Let's say I want to come out here in the front and I want to I want to show this this nice truck fleet that I have so my big customers know that I'm capable of handling big projects and that I have a fleet of trucks. So this is the image I'd like to share. So if I want to just share um, just this one image, then what I would do is I would go in, in within the image, I would position it the way I want, like that. Um, and then in the top left corner of the image, you see these three dots. You go ahead and select those three dots and then slide down to share or embed image. Um, and uh, that will give you, when, when, when you click on that, it, a little dialog box pops up and you can send a link <clears throat> so you can copy the link there and that would be useful if you wanted to include it in an email to a potential customer and saying yeah sure I can do that job take a look at my big fleet um, or maybe um, a welcome new customer type thing maybe I'm a maybe I'm a dentist and I want to I want them to feel welcome in my office so I I, uh, I send them a link to the the reception and waiting area so they they know what to expect when they walk in the door. Um, or maybe I just want to kind of share it on Instagram and Facebook, you know, I just kind of want to share my story. Hey, check out our new virtual tour, you know, just to kind of get some people in the front door. You know, th those are all great ideas and great ways to share, but that's how I would generate a, a single link to a single image like that. And just to show you what happens, if I <clears throat> copy that image and then open up a new browser window and go ahead and just paste that, that URL in the top, you can see that what it does is it takes me directly to that that one image. So that's a good way to share one image if you want to share one image. Let's say you don't want to share one image. Let's say you want to share the whole the whole gallery of all these 360 images. You know, I want to show the showroom. I want to show the the office area. I want to show the the salesperson or helping someone on the phone. Um, all this stuff. I want to share the whole thing. So go ahead and just pull up the gallery and you, you navigate to an image that maybe, let's say, I want to start off in the showroom. <clears throat> so here I am in the showroom. I navigate to a place I like. I've got a nice scene I like. And in instead of clicking on those three dots to share this one image, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the cursor in the top URL up, uh, uh, in the top address bar. And then I copy that entire URL um, and uh, whoops, <clears throat> and I copy that entire URL. Let me do that again. Yep. And navigate back. Here we go. So copy. And now when I open up a new browser window and I go to that URL. I'm actually taken to a whole gallery 
um, of the 360 images. So that's kind of a neat way to share like a whole gallery of stuff if you want to share a whole gallery of stuff. But let's say that I want to embed this. Let's say I want, I want to, I, I love this tour, I love this view. Um, I, I want to embed this tour. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and just navigate to where I want to start it from. I want to start it from the front of the, the front of the store. I want to start off, you know, showing the, showing the front of the store business. So, um, you know, you, you pick the picture you like and you kind of navigate to what you like. Okay, that looks good. I, I like that right there. It's a good start. So then you go up to those same three dots like you were going to share, okay, and slide down to share or embed. But this time, instead of the, uh, clicking on the copy link, I'm going to select the embed a map tab, okay, and that generates uh, an automated code. It's an HTML code. It's an iframe that you can embed anywhere into any website where you want it to appear. And they let you change some parameters here. If, if you don't want it to be medium or if you don't want it to be small, you can go for a larger version of your tour. Or you can even customize the fit and enter whatever parameters for the size that you want. Um, but when it, when it automatically generates that code for you, you can just go ahead and copy that. Okay, and then uh, whatever website editor you might use, I don't know which one you use. I'm going to give you an example of WordPress. We use WordPress. So this is just a regular WordPress dashboard here. Um, and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and start a new page. You could add it to an existing page if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm gonna start a new page. Um, and a new page starts up and I'm, I might wanna, you know, however I'm laying it out or whatever this page is, I might wanna say, you know, hey, you know, check out our awesome tour. And then uh, you go ahead and, and in the text mode, you, you're, you're gonna wanna paste it just where you paste that code, that, that embed code that you just copied uh, from, from Google. You, you paste that where you want the virtual tour to appear and then you know you follow that with some text and uh, whatever, whatever styling you want to do to it. But the bottom line is if I wanted to, if I click on preview and, and take a look at what I just did, is I can see clearly that the virtual tour is now embedded into the website. And this customer, oddly enough, uh, actually took advantage of this whole thing and, and did this. They, they, they put their virtual tour right in their website and, and took some of our advice, which is a really smart idea to do, and you should absolutely do that. Um, and and here's, here's what it looks like. This is their website, and, and uh, what they did is they just, uh, on their main home page, they just put this nice big link here, virtual showroom tour. Check out our virtual showroom. And it's a, a nice way for them to greet customers into their place, and, and you can see this big, beautiful tour now of their whole showroom that they, they uh, implemented, and really get an idea of, the, of their story a little bit more about their products and their services. So uh, that's how to generate uh, a uh, share link and or how to embed the virtual tour into a website if you'd like. Um, super simple to do. We're always willing to help you out. And uh, we're, we've got all kinds of great ideas, uh, different ways to uh, share your virtual tour and share your story and, and, and make the, the very most of it um, and really put it to work for you. So uh, if you'd like to watch more of those, we made a whole series of videos. Go ahead and select that uh, link there and watch some of those videos for some helpful tips and tricks on different things you can do in order to get your story out there a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to watch some of our other helpful videos on things that you can do to maximize your virtual tour. Uh, if you like the video and you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe or like and share. Thanks for watching.